We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. I'm your host, Bumpy Squiggums. Today we're going to be checking out Monsters of Mikan or Mikan or Mikan or something. I'm not entirely certain. It's by Blanket Productions LLC, released on March 25th, 2024. It is supposed to be heavily inspired by the Might and Magic series, uh, which I am aware of, quite quite aware of. Uh, I have not played any of yet. Obviously, I'm the Hom guy. Here's Might and Magic, but I've since fallen in love with uh, dungeon crawlers as of late, and I'm very interested in checking out the OG uh, Might and Magic series. So, uh, anyway, this inspired by that seems pretty cool. Um, they were kind enough to send it my way, so big shout out and thank you to the developers for the code for this. I apologize that it's about a month late um, from your release, but here we are. We're going to check it out. We're going to have a good time, and we're going to play it a bit. Uh, apparently, the developer has the same birthday as me, so happy belated birthday to you, a developer. All right, let us begin. Uh huh. I'm sorry. I'm I'm kind of looking. I'm kind of looking around at the various things I see on screen. Boy, there are some some peoples. Haswala Digi. Haswala Digi. Haswala Digi. Daphne and Patty. She's, uh. She, she got some, some, some forehead problems there. Some bowhead problems. Alright, looks like our party is gonna be four characters long. Or big, I guess. Which is fine. Uh. Class info. Spell so Oh my goodness. Character classes. A character's class defines their starting stats, starting skills, and the unique special class ability. Other skills can be purchased in town after starting the game. Class abilities scale with character level rather than skill. Okay. Uh, knight. Alright, so there's knight, rogue, sorcerer, a medic, paladin, archer, ranger, jester, guardian, lancer, spell sword, monk, barbarian, and a ninja. And the knight's skill is prepare weapons. Your knight takes the precious time to prepare your party's equipped weapons for combat so that they do extra damage for the duration of the next combat encounter. This buff wears off after the combat encounter ends. The charmin smile or the rogue flashes a wink and a grin with a good chance of confusing nearby enemies. The old magic and missile conjures a number of energy bolts determined by their level, each one seeking out a random enemy combatant. We have the triage from the medic. Uses emergency dose of medicine to restore the target's char the target characters to full HP. However, at the same time, putting them to sleep. Oops. Only works on living characters. Yeah. Paladins have inner radiance. Paladin reaches in their spirit and unleashes a portion of their inner being into the world, dealing energy damage to themselves as well as any nearby enemies. Two times damage to undead. Hmm. I feel like that's not how inner radiance should work, but uh, it's okay. We'll accept it and move on. The archer quickly attaches a rocket to an arrow, because why not? And fires the resulting blast, de uh, blast damaging enemies near the target and even at the party if it gets a little bit too close. Alright, cool. The bear trap for the ranger. Sets a mechanical bear trap in front of the party. When triggered by an enemy, it will damage and immobilize that enemy for several rounds. A ninja can do smoke screen, ninja vanish, throw the bomb, possibly blinding all nearby enemies. The ninja then hides from sight the next few rounds, decreasing their chance of being targeted. Chow down, your barbarian's a hungry boy. He, to overcome hunger, he tries to eat the targeted enemy. Oh, well, that's lovely. If this attack kills the enemy, then the barbarian gains the equivalent damage dealt in HP. Huh. Creepy. Meditation. Your monk assumes a deep meditative state, or meditative state if you prefer, uh, fully restoring their HP and removing all MP buildup. However, the ability has a very long recovery time. 
Enchant weapon. Your spell sword enchants a character's equipped melee weapon, causing it to deal extra damage of a random elemental type for a short time. Defensive a jab. Your lancer attacks with their spear from a defensive position, retaining the defensive bonus while doing slightly less than normal damage. Guardian will prepare armor. Takes the precious time to prepare your party's equipped armor for battle. Yep, one combat encounter. Got it. And crackwise, your jester tells a bad joke. Sometimes fate makes things happen when bad jokes are told in the heat of battle. I don't know what that means. All right. So they want to start us off with this stuff. I'm not all about that life. So, uh, what is what does this do? Oh, okay, that changes the picture. This rolls the character into something else. It looks like there are predetermined characters, though. And then, of course, we can do whatever we want. I suppose. I, I'm kind of okay using, like, their their peeps. Alright, I want... I want a Lancer, I think. I could go Paladin, technically. Shiloh was born into nobility, living in the palace of... Uh, Arikasta. She was trained from birth in the arts of mending and defense. You know what? It's fine. Let's go with the Paladin. Alright, uh, Barbarian. we got to get you a different name, though, buddy. Um... Uh, uh, do you have another pal? Uh, sorry, another barbarian, or is it just him? Guardian, uh, Balonaster, Balonaster. Come on, give me, give me the bar, give me the barb. I, I know I, I can just rename it and do whatever I want. I'm I'm being pedantic right now. I apologize. Wow, they really don't want to give me back the barbarian. They're like you you switched off the barbarian. You don't get the barbarian back. Well, that's not how this works, there is. It is Passawala Ding Dong. Alright, um We're gonna call him uh, Pascal. There we go. It's fine. Okay. Uh, then we have uh, Daphne, the sorceress. Oh, I want to check class infos again. Sorceress, sorceress. Yeah, that's fine. And the jester. I think I'm going to get rid of the jester. And I'm, I'm leaning maybe toward medic. Or maybe we could do ranger. I don't know. Or archer, even. Let's see where a medic is. Medic is Najahili. Uh huh. I I don't I don't know what skills that the paladin's gonna have, and I assume the paladin's not gonna be enough to keep us all alive. What are our other options? Monk seems like a frontliner. curious as to what a, a ranger has as far as skills. Sometimes rangers have like some sort of nature spell or whatever. Uh, alright. Who, who do I want to be the medic? I'm gonna do some exchanging for this person. That guy looks like a medic. He's gonna be Nathan... No. Nathaniel? Sure. That might be how you spell that. I don't know. We're gonna roll with it. Okay, I guess I accept all, probably. Alright, stats. Start up here. Uh, we have five points remaining. It doesn't look like you randomly roll for stats. It did say that your stats were determined by your class. So, let's see. Strength affects your melee damage and ability to pass strength checks. Uh, maximum health and the ability to ignore or remove status conditions. That's vitality, dexterity, range damage, and dexterity checks. Agility affects both melee and range damage and in combat recovery speed. Speed affects turn order in battle and moving range during combat. 
Intelligence affects spell potency and maximum MP threshold. All right, well, you're a you're a paladin. I don't know what MP buildup is exactly. So I'm slightly concerned. I think we go with that for you. Our barbarian, obviously, some vitality, some strength, some agility. I think some speed, maybe. I feel like he could probably be pretty quick. I wouldn't mind getting dexterity as well, but eh, this is fine. All right, and then we go over to our lovely Daphne. And she, magic girl. Uh, speed and... <laughs> oh, we did two and one. Yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, I actually was gonna go vitality. Because a little bit of extra HP wouldn't have been terrible in my eyes, but it's fine. And Nathaniel, one, two, one, one, and a little bit of vitality. I think that's, that works. All right, details, I think these are all good. I don't, I don't know why this has got check mark and this doesn't, but that's fine. All right, we're gonna go to skills now. Back up to the top with our lovely, what was her name? Shyla, Shyla, our lovely paladin. Heavy armor, blunt shield, and manipulation. There's ability to perform magical manipulation abilities. Uh huh. Okay. Shield. Uh, blunt weapons. A mace or a hammer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I get additional things too. Oh. Huh. Monster lore. No. Um. I don't know enough about, like, projection and things of that nature to know, like, what's good there. I mean, dodge sounds good. What? Not really gonna be that useful. Uh, awareness, not really... Friend ability, uh huh. Recruitment chance. I I don't. There's not really a lot of skills here for us to 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 go down. But again, I don't know what the best thing's gonna be here. I guess projection. And I I'll do monster lore. Why not? Why? Oh, okay. Don't worry. All right, I got it. I got it. Okay. Then we're gonna go here. We got dodge sword, axe, bow. I feel like that's unnecessary to have all of those. So for dodge, it can I be used while wearing any light or heavy armor? So we could use medium armor. It could be used with robe armor. Maybe there is no medium armor. All right. You know, our barbarian's gonna be a sneaky boy. He's gonna be our burglar because of reasons, probably. And uh, why not a little bit of awareness? Huh? Eh? A very, a very bright uh, barbarian. Uh, okay. Then we have conjuration, projection, transfiguration, staff. And then we gotta figure out what else we're gonna do. Uh, she could probably be our merchant person. And then maybe we do manipulation? Or maybe we do dodge. Eh? Eh? Robed armor? She seems like she'd be in robes. Uh, I'm gonna do manipulation. I don't know what that is exactly, but there you have it. And then manipulation, blunt, transfiguration, monster lore. Uh, maybe we do shield? And we do...
rejection. Why not? Uh, I feel like maybe we're, we're doubling down on some stuff there, but I, I think that's all fine. Yeah, let's, let's, let's roll with it. I accept all. I know this is taking us a little bit of time. It usually does in a rear, making your, uh, your peeps. Mace, staff, sword, mace, uh, HP 40, 40, 18, ooh, 23. Then we have MP. Okay, confirm and start game. Get to train and level up in town. Oh, oh, this is, uh, okay. I do have a controller connected, as it is detecting. But I don't, oh. Okay, that was horrifying. I I love the sound effect for that, by the way. That was great. Um, a flying fox appears before you. Even stranger, it speaks. Hello there, friends. A word. How do I... How does one... Speak with the person? Do I click on you? Oh, I walk up and then I click on it. Welcome to Spinny Island, or Spiny Island, friends. My name is Jappel, and yes, I appear to be a fox with wings and impeccable taste in headwear. Fair. Uh, might I ask a question or two of you all? No skips to tutorial. Yeah, go for it. Would you like to learn about adventuring here in Mikan? Click yes to see the tutorial. Sure. Basic movement, WASD, yep, left, uh, examine, sure. C, tab, switch between active, okay. One through nine is the ability. Alt toggles between first and second row of ability bar. Okay. Uh, M toggles the mini map on and off. Q toggle quick menu and R rest of currently able space to jump. Uh, HP bars are on the left hand side along the with the crew. Okay. Then there's a little hand there. I'm not sure what that's all about, but fine. Uh, MP bar fills up when MP is used. What? Ch sure, I, I don't, that makes no sense to me, but it's fine. It's probably some sort of thing from the olden games. It's, it's totally okay. I find that a lot of things did stuff backwards over the years, or what I consider backwards at this point coming to them, so totally makes sense. Like, uh, armor class being the lower the number, the better it is, so you have, like, negative 20 armor, and you're like, that seems bad. No, that's great. Oh, okay. Uh, in combat move indicator. Move an indicator, sure. Selected characters ability bar. Status message bar. Secures a corpse. So combat log. Oh, other combat log. Okay, so... Mini combat log and then permanent combat log, I guess. And selected enemy info. Okay. Do you appreciate challenges, or do you prefer breezing through the story of life to see the sights and sounds of the initial difficulty? Ah, uh, challenge is fine. Do you require any further guidance? Ah, uh, probably, but I'm going to say no. Very well, then I won't keep you any longer. You can review the tutorial and change the difficulty at any time in the pause menu. You are horrifying, by the way, just in case you did not know. How do I... Is there a way to know what any of my characters do? Yeah, 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 abilities. That's what I want. Okay. So you have melee attack. Heal. She has melee attack, ranged attack, defend, heavy swing, heal, firebolt, befriend, and inner radiance. Okay. And you have melee ranged, defend, broad strike. Swing the broadside of your sword at an enemy doing 50% damage as blunt. Okay, so if they're immune to slash, I guess. Broadhead smash. 50% as blunt. Okay. And then chow down. Melee range, defend light. Temporary light, sure. Firebolt, uh huh. Stone skin. Or she turns the party skin into stone, boosting armor, slashing, and piercing resistance, but lowers blunt resistance. Oh. Staff bolt, emit a small energy bolt from the staff, doing minor damage that scales with your weapon damage. Okay. 
Uh, heal, sure, and magic missile, sure. Uh, melee range, defend, heal, heavy swing. With enough force to knock him back a bit. Stone skin, yep, befriend, firebolt, and trial. Okay. A suspicious pile of sand. Dig. The party finds a headstrong amulet, bronze staff, studded leather pants, a wand of create flower. Huh. Uh, right. Um, how does one get their inventory? Okay, escape. So you got the studded leather pants, which we should definitely give to him. Okay, okay, okay. But do we do we know, do we know what we have equipped? Equip best in slot. Okay, equip best in slot. A bronze stab. No, 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 no. Can I? Hold on. Let me let me go back to inventory. Starter sword, equip it. How do I, how do I do this? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, she should have the significantly better staff. One, one would assume. There we go. Uh, and we, so we got an amulet as well. And what about the amulet? Headstrong amulet, five to willpower. Uh, we're going to say this goes to you. Okay, so all that's happened. Wand of Create Flower. Uh, conjures a glowing flower in front of the party. Huh. Oh, apparently, um, stepping slightly into water drowns you. Okay. I learned a valuable lesson, I suppose. Sure. Oh, I uncovered a firebomb and it explodes in the party's face. Well, that's not great. Maybe we should have our barbarian do things. I'm going to rest. That was just the worst. Um, so, barbarian... Mr. 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 Bar 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 Barbarian. You have awareness. Which I assume gives you the ability to detect a trap or something. Come on, Pascal. Hey. Uh, try to open it. Uh, search for traps. Try to open. Well, I didn't find the trap, but I lived. <laughs> oh, it looks like our our magic uh, wears down over time. Oh, that's cool. All right, all right, all right, I got you. I got you, I got you, I got you. All right, escape. We are going to do a little bit of the old inventory. Obviously, the bronze. Yeah. Best to chop a wood, but monster heads work just as well. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Starter mace. Uh, yep, iron mace. I, I feel like they're pretty close to the same, but this is better. Okay, and then there was somebody who had a dagger, but nobody really... Nobody really does dagger things, so that's fine, I guess. Yeah, I can be on this. This works. Where did our starter sword go? I had a starter sword. What happened to it? There's a starter mace. Did did I did I drop it somehow? I don't think so. 
All right, let's see what other horrible things can try to kill me. Hey, 500 monies. This is definitely going to hurt. Hey, F5 has quick save. Cool. The enemy has spotted you. You have entered turn-based combat mode. Oh no, we've been cornered by some monsters. I told you it was bad. Your movement is now restricted to the bounds of the green circle at your feet. The size of the circle is based on your speed stat, and the circle refreshes every new round of combat. The enemy is waiting for you to perform an action. Click on the enemy with the crosshair or hit tab or left trigger to select an enemy. Then use one of the abilities shown on the ability bar down below. Press the corresponding key or button to use whichever ability you want. Okay. Some abilities require a target first. Look for the crosshair icon. Other abilities require you to be in melee range. Look for the melee indicator. Targets HP, turn order. Got it. Uh, other combat info, defense buff, target takes less damage, attack buff, target deals more damage, speed buff, uh, target speed and recovery rate is increased, elite, target has higher HP resistances and attack damage, higher XP and item reward, right click on enemy to bring up a sheet of relevant information, okay, uh, monster traits have a wide variety of effects which can be viewed in the bestiary, after defeating a monster with that trait. Oh. Oh. Well, I mean, sir. Sir. I think I do seven? Oh! Uh, apparently there was more than one of them there, I guess. I'll step up and uh, hit him with a little five piece. And then a four piece. Oh. oh, there's three of them there, at least. Okay. And then I guess I hit him with a one. Oh, I gotta select the enemy. Oh. He's a mulga. Oh. Ow. Oh. Ow. Uh, I think we're okay. Wow, dude's pretty, uh, oh. pretty tough. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love it. Uh, doesn't tell me anything about how much HP he's got, which is fine. I'm gonna try to smack him with my stick. Oh. 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 Dude's tough. Oh. I didn't seem to like that that much. Um, there we go. Down he goes. All right. It is time for me to smack this oh. fool. Just gonna hit him with the stick. Bonk him, smack him one more time, and I'm gonna try to eat this guy. Oh, oh I hate him. That was great. Eats robber too. Gain, regained uh, 10 HP. You are victorious. Each surviving member earns 240 experience. Ah, big fan. Big fan of how all that went down. That was, that was pretty nice. All right, heal there. All oh, right. Um, heal there. There we go. So I'm going to be a little bit awkward with the controls. Hopefully it gets a little bit more second nature as time goes on. But right now it just feels a little awkward. I'm just not used to it. So forgive me if I'm a little bit slower than maybe you would want. All right. Another headstrong amulet, which gives us more uh, willpower and some wooden pants. That sounds very painful and unsatisfying, especially considering splinters are a thing. Uh, what are wooden pants considered? They are heavy armor. I imagine she could probably wear heavy pants. Yeah, wooden pants. What? Uh, you know what? You can have the willpower thing, too. Very cool. 
from from uh, humble beginnings. Five hundred more gold buried in the sand. Hooray! All right, let's just see if there's anything over here. Try not to walk into the water again. Nope, looks like uh, we are pretty pretty much done in this general vicinity. We can definitely see some stuff that way. And clearly our adventure awaits us over this way. There's a swirly portal over there, and there's a chest. Uh, search for traps, try to open. Take all. Ugh. Everybody lived. Okay, I now... Again, I'm going to be a little pedantic here. I, I feel like I should have been able to do that. I should have been able to at least land on it without taking drowning damage. Now, granted, I jumped multiple times, took way more damage than I needed to, but I should have been able to do that. What uh, shouldn't have happened, in my opinion, was that I took damage. Um, and if you wanted to stop me from doing that, maybe just don't let me open it because I'm on the box. But, eh, again, small little thing. Okay, well, I'm not going to go out there because that's that's guaranteed certain death. There are some creatures ahead of us here. Some jelly worms. And, uh, yeah, I suppose we will do battle with the jelly worms. What's up, jelly worm? Oh, I knocked him into two jelly worms now. Well, that's interesting. Uh, how do I, how do I pass? Can I befriend one of the jelly worms? I'm not really interested in friendship. Yeah, no, I, I, I get that, man. Uh, hmm. I don't, I don't really know. I mean, I. I guess I can defend? Oh, he rolled out on me a little bit there. Uh, sure. And now there's two. Okay, that's me and you. I've been bitten by a thing. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit you with the seven piece. And then we gonna bonk you. And then we guns to shoot you, sir. There it is. We beat up all the slimy wormy berms. The berma wormer worm berms. Alright, so uh, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> An amulate. This one doesn't do anything. Sweet. Or if it does, it might it must need to be identified first, maybe. Alright, vital loot. Albright outpost. Well, hmm. I feel like they're trying to tell me something. It was a trap. It was an ambush. All right. Oh. Does not seem to be interested in my friendship. That is not okay. Oh. Ow. You stabbed me. Oh. Ow. As did you. Oh. And yeah. Okay. No, I, I figured that was going to be kind of how this went down. All right. Let's. Ooh, we have other things we can do. What's it do with our special oh! skill? Oh, that was, that was fun. Uh... Oh! I think I'm going to eat this guy. Oh! That's right, heal me. As I nom-a-nom-a-nom-a-nom up on you. I'm going to hit him with a four. Oh! 
knock him back a whole bunch. Oh. That's right. You couldn't handle what I did. Oh. 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 You dare strike me, sir. Oh. Alright, cool. So we, we, we beat everybody up. It doesn't seem like uh, the chests that we get from Moldstairs, at least at this point, are trapped, which is nice. Uh, search for traps. Aha! I found a trap. Try to disarm the trap. I did not do it. It hurt a lot. It's not trapped anymore. Well, let's open it. Boxer briefs. Artifact robe. What? Protection. Extremely loose and light shorts meant to cover your dignity more than anything else. Despite the apparent lack of physical protection, these shorts do somehow improve your hand fighting skills. Ooh, oh my god, look at this. Uh, five agility, two to unarmed, of drowsiness, gains increased chance to be put to sleep by enemy. Yeah, of the god slayer. The wearer of this item can instantly kill enemies with the immortal trait using insta-kill effects. Well, that sounds pretty good, I think. A wand of fireball. And a wooden longbow. Ooh, I like all of these things. They did say essential loot, so I'm here for it. All right, guys and gals, I think I'll play around with my inventory. Um, get everything all set up for our next adventure. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll continue on. We'll see. There's a volcano in the background. And there's a town in front of us, clearly. Uh, you know, all things considered, does it look like a game that was made in 2024? Uh, no, but sometimes you want to have a specific, you decided to go with a specific aesthetic, a specific look and feel of the game. And, uh, considering what we've seen so far, I, I think they definitely wanted to do something unique, different, and, uh, something that they wanted to do specifically for the game and i think they've accomplished that uh i know people will be like oh my god it doesn't have the greatest gra i don't i don't care games like this don't need to have the greatest kind of graphics oh i just found a secret area that's no doubt also an ambush point all right well we're gonna go looking around over in the secret area again i could be completely wrong maybe this is the way forward i don't know uh, in the next episode. If you guys want more information about this game, where to get the game information on the developer, any of that stuff, I have all relevant links I can find down below in the description of the video, just like I always do. This is a, this is a weird one, but uh, yeah, I had fun with it. I'm getting a little used to how things work, and yeah, I'm very curious to see how things progress as we go. Uh, again, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, do the YouTube algorithm thing for me, and until the very next episode, I've been your host, Bumpy Big Squiggums. Thank you so much for Stop by the Freak Show. We play. We fight. We conquer. <laughs>